I hope you're having a good day. Jordan Trask here for day 11 of my 25 days of Christmas. And today, for my strategy, I drew soap making or like soap crafting or curating or molding, whatever you want to call it. And this stuff is really popular these days, you know, from exfoliating your skin to, you know, soothing your muscles to just good smelling and scents and then natural ingredients, right? Organic ingredients. You know, you've seen anything from almond milk to goat's milk to all kinds of just different things that, you know, soak into your skin, oatmeal and stuff like that, that really help uh, improve the way you, you look, smell, feel, all those things. So this is something that's really big right now, especially with online marketing. I'm sitting here initially thinking, you know, during the holidays, what can you do? And, and you know, it's just another one of those businesses that unless they're really, uh, you know, well known like Sasquatch soap or something like that, check them out if you've never seen their ad strategy. It's, it's pretty uh, engaging and relevant, right? Um, but I don't think they make a lot of money um, in general for the for the most part. Um, but I've been kind of getting off topic, not topic, but strategy a little bit in the last couple of days. And I really want to focus more on like high end TV commercials, like holiday TV, TV commercials, because I think it's something I'm really good at being creative, being able to think outside the box and then being able to follow that up with campaigns or different offers or, uh, you know, relevant messaging and stuff that just adds to the value of the business. And, you know, initially you're thinking about this, you're thinking about Christmas themes, you're thinking about stuff that people are doing, uh, you know, trends or traditions or just holiday relevancy, right? And so I'm thinking like maybe you could create something like eggnog, like an eggnog special that's made out of something natural that kind of come goes with the season right uh you know maybe with a packet of eggnog that you could drink and you have a little little package deal but then i thought that was kind of cheesy kind of cheap you know it's not really going above and beyond it's not really creating a memory it's just creating a product it's creating another sale that's relevant and what i want to try to focus more on is the engage engaging qualities um building awareness and then building uh, that long-term loyalty and sustaining the business through uh genuine interaction in in caring and improvements and uh, quality and all these things that are uh, focused geared towards the customer um, so i'm really sitting here uh, thinking you know what type of uh, tv commercial can i do that's gonna get people really excited about buying soap not just sell them something but create that memory right so you know going down the eggnog trail i start thinking about you know what what do people use soap for uh what what do they want to use soap for and then um what are they using it for now during the holidays and i think most people that buy this stuff around christmas time it's for gifts it's to give to people that's an easy gift i always give my daughters i have two teenage daughters and a wife when i get a nice package you know gift basket with a bunch of lotion and sprays and all these things but i'm thinking you know just the exhaustion the general exhaustion of the holidays and uh, what about uh instead of it like exfoliation and you know regenerating your skin and stuff what about just uh you know relaxation and calming and soothing and so i'm like what else what other type of smells and uh you know types of not is it flavors uh i guess just ingredients that kind of soothe right and i'm, I'm thinking you know all the shopping all this maybe traveling maybe you're having family over maybe you're really active um on vacation hiking you know being outdoors and then i'm like well it's the winter time you know a lot of people are probably aren't outdoors right most people are uh, you know cuddled up by the fire with somebody but you still have that exhaustion that general exhaustion so i'm thinking start thinking more like peppermint uh you know minty kind of that more soothing cool cooling uh properties of the soap that you could soak in right so i start thinking bath salts I start start thinking soap uh, exfoliation all these things you know combine them right and then if you have peppermint uh maybe like a little dark chocolate some oatmeal in in these these soaps i'm not an expert i'm just guessing here i'm assuming but uh you know i think that would be really uh catchy during the holidays maybe something that you could eat i don't know <laughs> so maybe you're creating a package of uh different uh, peppermint type things uh, that are relevant for the holidays maybe throw a toy in there or something but getting to the commercial is we want to come up with all these different ways people are getting to that point of exhaustion whether that's dealing with family whether that's traveling like i said before i don't want to repeat myself uh, or just holiday sh shopping or exhaustion um, maybe you know you just started a new job or maybe you moved like i did and everything's new um, you know, maybe you're dealing with coronavirus type stuff, which I probably shouldn't have said because they're probably going to flag this video now. But um, anyways, you know, all these things where you could just enjoy that that end of the day bath, right? That you could soak in and we're going to paint this picture in as many ways as we can 
show as many different types of people as we can in as many different types of moments that we can uh, in, as, as, in as many types of personalities, right? Um, hobbies, habits, um, you know, groups of people, right? Identities and try to encompass this in, in a soap commercial because at the end of the day, you know, you're selling soap, your primary customer may be uh, older women who are widowed, you know, just, just to try to really narrow that down. And maybe you really focus on that a lot all the time and you know, they're your best customers and you cater all the time to that. But being able to kind of broaden the horizon here during the holidays when people are looking for stuff to buy, when people are looking for new products and stuff to get behind or creative stuff that uh, they can have the best gift or have the best experience or just maybe try something new. That's that's what it's all about with marketing and grabbing people's attention during this time. So uh, showcasing that experience, showcasing those pain points, showcasing uh, the, you know, those, uh, disadvantages of the holidays or the wear of the holidays or the general uh, just you know exhaustion um, you know and, and solving that they're not solving it but yeah I guess resolving your exhaustion uh, is probably pretty um, you know eye-catching stuff right you have a mom then you have a dad that's maybe been working all day or just going to the store you don't want to be there um, and then he gets to sit in this bath. It's a really short moment in time of them sitting in this bath, enjoying this product, maybe eating the peppermint chocolate, reading a book, listening to something that they got, enjoying something else that's a part of this peppermint package, uh, and relaxing for the two seconds. But the rest of the commercial is their day, is their exhaustion, is their uh, interactions, and uh, you know, holiday routine I guess so I personally believe that you can have a lot of fun with this strategy you could even have the sitting at the North Pole have a bunch of elves putting it together you know you have polar ice you know polar bears all these different types of things minty fresh maybe you have a, a place in the Arctic where this peppermint comes from that you're channeling and putting into the soap and putting into other products and all this stuff it's just I mean you can have so much fun with it and you could even have have that have that target audience or that one that one type type of target audience that uh, maybe kind of scoffs at soap making and stuff and I don't want this and stuff and then show that person really enjoying themselves uh, uh, maybe thinking initially that this is stupid I don't want to uh, sit in a bath it's freezing outside with this arctic breeze blowing down my neck but then maybe show somebody on vacation or uh, show, show them getting into the bath and it's almost as if they're on vacation right in a different place like there's so many cool things unique ways that you can create this type of strategy uh, just by making it minty minty fresh or North Pole uh, themed right I think that would be something that really tie in really simple um, you can reach a bunch of different types of people with specific messaging um, you know you could reach somebody with the same message as a different personality right just because they they can identify with that and um, so this is kind of the theme with as you can see with all the commercials that I'm putting together here for the holidays it's all about encompassing this as much as we can um, because that's that's extremely important when, when you when you really zero in on one person all the time and I believe me I'm a hundred percent target audience ideal target audience person but it, when it comes to your marketing and advertising and stuff if you just only focus on that ideal audience and you're not finding a way to broaden the horizon a little bit then you're 100 percent missing out on opportunity so I think those things through, walk through them, figure out how you want to do orders. Do you want to do a different campaign? Do you want to tie it to something else? Do you want to make this a theme? Uh, how are you tracking and measuring the results? Are your other products performing better? All these things, um, the research and the market analysis behind this stuff, this is just an idea. This is just the ideation. That stuff is important. Being able to walk through the experience, walk through the purchase, and then walk through the return and make sure it's going to be something fruitful before you go all in. With that being said, be purposeful with everything you do, guys. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Be genuine. Be grateful. And be giving because it is the season. But be, purpose blah, be purposeful with everything that you do. And always remember to pre-focus. Take it easy.